Hey guys, it's Mike. Uh, I just wanted to do a, a kind of quick video uh, regarding the, this Michael Brown um, being shot and, and killed uh, unarmed. And I guess from what the reports are saying, he you know was on the ground and had his hands in the air, and um, a witness is saying that, and that then the officer just basically shot him. Um, that's police brutality, it's abuse of their force, and I mean, we're all seeing how the cops are more and more of them becoming more and more psychotic. That's the way they're being trained. <clears throat> um, it's really sad, you know, that, that someone, that this child, 18 years old, was um, killed. You know, he was going on his way to his grandmother's house. He was going to see his grandmother. He wasn't armed. So what was the need to shoot? You know, and if the kid had his hands in the air, then why are you shooting? Um, so with that being said, uh, there's some updates on this story. Um, the police are refusing to give out the officer's name because there's death threats, I guess. Um, along with that, um, there have been riots uh, and protests every night just about. Um, turning violent and, and whatnot, and, I mean, I understand the, the public's outcry, you know, for being upset, but you can't give them what they want, which that's what they want. They want everybody to act crazy and violent and to attack and attack each other and turn this into a racial thing when truly it is, and it was an abuse of power by an officer. We need to remember that. Now, uh moving on here and again it's very sad that, that this young man lost his life um, when he didn't have to this is uh, a video I'm pulling up which is regarding the uh, shooting um, there's a lot of video here down below you can see um, I'm going to skip over that though and go over here and I guess tensions are up everywhere in the country right now the uh, LAPD actually turned around and shot another unarmed teenager I guess who had mental problems I, it didn't specify whether he was mentally ill or if he was mentally slow or, or but there was some it, from what it sounds like it sounds more like he was either mentally slow I believe and they basically shot him in the back you know we're seeing more and more of this um, and just look at the look at the cops here look at them we're the enemy guys we are the enemy all of us black white brown yellow green blue I don't care what color you are we are the enemy the Americans we are the enemy um, and we need to understand that and stick together but yeah this this kid he's another you know a teenager um, who was who was murdered uh, unarmed he was unarmed um, and the cops basically had him face down on the ground and shot him in the back And so over in St. Louis during these riots, there was another shooting. Now, this one, I can understand, okay? The person pulled the gun. Now, if you pull a gun on the police, you know you're going to get shot. You don't, you know. Um, I don't know the circumstances, though. Nobody knows the circumstances, but... I guess uh, someone had pulled a gun on the police, but this guy wasn't shot and killed. Um, I don't believe he was, anyway. I'm not positive on that. But when I read through the article, I didn't, I didn't see anything that he died. The other two boys who were unarmed did. But this is what they want. They want madness and chaos and 
you know this is what's going to give them their martial law right here on top of the Ebola on top of ISIS on top of everything else this, this is not what we need to be doing and then uh, this is basically going over you know police used tear gas on demonstrators in Missouri town rocked by the, uh, the shooting um, they're using rubber bullets tear gas in full riot gear as you can see um, some of them aren't in this picture but then if you go back over to, where is it? I believe it was right here. On this one, they were in full riot gear. If you go down a little bit. And I guess uh, gun sales have gone through the roof um, during this whole crisis over there. Um been basically rioting every night so I mean we don't need this to to continue throughout America um, it's one thing to, to have peaceful protesting and but don't don't give them the upper hand by destroying things and causing chaos and violence it won't solve anything the only way that I personally would react in any kind of physical or violent manner as if I'm being, my life is actually being threatened, like an actual threatening of my life. I, I, I feel your guys' pain, and you know, God bless you, and hopefully we can, hopefully we can all overcome this together. God bless everyone.